In the search for life beyond Earth, one of the early questions to ask is whether a planet is habitable. Today we'll explore this from Kepler's laws of planetary motion. Kepler's first law tells us that planets orbit their stars in ellipses, not perfect circles. The key concept here is eccentricity, which is a measure of how stretched that ellipse is. Low eccentricity means a planet's distance from the star and the energy that it receives from it is fairly constant. This is great for climate stability. Conversely, high eccentricity means big swings in distances and in temperatures. That could mean spending part of the year in a stable climate with the other parts being either freezing or boiling. Kepler's second law states that a planet sweeps out equal areas in equal times, which means a planet moves faster when it's closer to its star and slower when it's farther away. With eccentricity, this means that seasons are not going to be equal. A short yet hot summer near the star and a long cold winter far away. Kepler's third law links a planet's orbit to its distance from its star. And once we know the distance, we can figure out on average how much energy that planet is receiving, which can then give us information about whether this planet is in a habitable zone, which is a range of distances that define where liquid water can persist on the surface. While Johannes Kepler may not have come up with these laws with the idea of life beyond Earth in mind, his laws are still guiding us 